Hello. Today we are doing chapter three, section section three in algebra one. Our essential question is how can you use function notation to represent a function? Function notation. That's that f of x that you see right here. That does not mean f times x. Let me say that again. f of x does not mean f times x. f of x, and that's how you would say it, f of x is just a fancy way of saying y. You use that a lot of times when you get into upper level math to show that you have a function. And what that means is you've got a function in terms of x. f of x equals negative 4x plus 7. So I want to find f of 2. So you write the function. Wherever there's an x, I'm putting in 2. Again, that does not mean f times 2. That means when my input is 2, what's my output going to be? So you take negative 4 times 2 plus 7 and get negative 1. Do the same thing for negative 2. f of negative 2 is going to be 8 plus 7 or 15. So when x is 2, f of x is negative 1. When, f, when x is negative 2, f of x is 15. So when my input is 2, my output is negative 1. When my input is negative 2, my output is 15. So let f of t be the outside temperature t hours after 6 a.m. Explain the meaning of each statement. Well, f of 0, that means that it is 6 a.m., so the temperature is 58 degrees. f of 6 means that it's going to be 6 hours later, so it's noon. And at noon, it's n degrees Fahrenheit. When t is 3, it's going to be less than when t is 9. So at 9 a.m., which would be 3 hours after 6 a.m., it's going to be less than the temperature at 3 p.m. And I got that 3 p.m. by adding 6 a.m. plus 9 hours. All right. There are a couple problems for you to try on your own. I suggest you hit pause, and then after you have tried these, hit play. If you need to, back up and see how we did those previous ones. You're going to get three answers here because they're asking you to do it three times, a negative 4, 0, and 3. So 2 times negative 4 minus 5, 2 times 0 minus 5, 2 times 3 minus 5. Here you're going to get negative negative 4 minus 1. Two negatives make it a positive. Negative 0 minus 1 and negative 3 minus 1. Be careful of those positive and negative integers. Um, I will let you read through the answers on your own here but it's very similar to our last one. It's starting at 9 a.m. So four hours later would be 1 p.m. All right, on this one, they're giving us h of x. Sometimes they use h instead of f. It doesn't really mean anything. h of x just as a different way of showing function notation. Sometimes you see g, sometimes you might even see k. It's all a fancy way of saying y. does not mean h times x. So for h of x equals 2 thirds x minus 5, find the value for x for which h of x equals negative 7. So we're not going to be plugging in because they're telling us our output is negative 7. So we put it where our y would be because that's our output. And we need to solve for x. 
and they're even saying find the value of x. So now it's just an equation, add 5 to both sides. To get rid of a fraction, you multiply by the reciprocal, and you're going to get x equals negative 3. So when x equals negative 3, h of x equals negative 7. All right, we want to graph this one. We're going to make an input-output table. And again, a lot of times I refer to this as a t-table. So our input, we choose what we're going to input. It's usually good to, chart, to choose a couple of negatives, 0, and a couple positives. So 2 times negative 2 plus 5, 2 times negative 1 plus 5, 2 times 0 plus 5, 2 times 1 plus 5, 2 times 2 plus 5. Then we're going to plot those ordered pairs. Negative 2 comma 1, negative 1 comma 3, 0 comma 5, 1 comma 7, 2 comma 9. And draw a line through those points. Voila, we are done. All right, there are five problems for you to try here. So I would hit pause, take a second, work these out. I'm going to guess it's going to take five or six minutes to work these out. Once you have them worked out, check your answers. Remember on this one, you're going to be setting it up as an equation. So 21 equals 6x plus 9. You're looking for that value of x. Let me even tell you, find the value of x. So subtract 9, divide by 6. You're setting that equal to negative 1, subtract 3, multiply by negative 2. On 6, 7, and 8, you're going to be making a t table, or a Table of sorts, input output table. Um, I would choose a couple negatives, zero, and a couple positives to put in there. And this is what your graphs should look like. All right, a word problem. The graph shows the number of miles a helicopter is from its destination after X hours on its first flight. On its second flight, the helicopter travels 50 miles farther and increases its speed by 25 miles per hour. The function f of x equals 350 minus 125x represents the second flight, where f of x is the number of miles the helicopter is away from its destination after x hours. Which flight takes less time? Explain. So we've got our first flight right there. And then our second flight, they're giving us an equation. So kind of need to understand. The first flight is kind of a picture representation. The second flight, they're giving us an equation, and they're asking us um, to compare flight times. So what we need to do is graph the function that represents the second flight, compare the graph to the graph of the first flight, and then go from there. So there's our equation, make an input-output table. And if you notice, we didn't choose any negatives here. Well, because you're dealing with time, you can't have a negative time. Plot those ordered pairs. Draw a line through those points. So from the graph of the first flight, you can see that when f of x equals 0, x equals 3. On the second, when f of x equals 0, it's slightly less than 3. So the second flight takes less time. All right. Hope you enjoyed. As always, you're welcome to come into Math Lab or iPass.